This follows rehabilitation work done to the Poros Community Center, which included tiling, painting, and other general repairs undertaken by Dillon Building Construction. According to Minister with Responsibility for Youth Development, Kate Lewis, the factory will primarily provide service in the creation of school uniforms for all students enrolled in the Government Uniform Assistance Program. While we focus on uniforms, it will not be the only um, th the, the only aspect of the production process, they will be looking at other aspects as well. So while we focus on school uniform, they will be expanding later on to um, provide uniforms for other um, departments or divisions within government or um, the general public as well. 21 young persons, all certified at CVQ and NVQ levels 1 and 2, in accordance to approved standards by the National Training Agency, will oversee the general operations and management of the garment production facility. Training also focused on key areas including cooperative bylaws, work ethics, business plan development, cooperative formation, cooperative management and garment production management. Minister Lewis added that studies have been conducted to ensure there is long-term sustainability of the factory. Denibur Lessi, president of the Spice Fashion Design Cooperative, says an interim board has been established to oversee general operations. Well, basically, we received training so far. Everybody has completed their training. It was a success, although we had our little challenges, but we have overcome it so far and we are here waiting so that we can finally come in and to work. Production manager Onika Clark boasts that the general public will benefit from a wider range of services. I'm very prepared because we did put our best foot forward. Everybody, even though it was hard in the beginning, we did came together and as a team and we helped each other out and we stepped up, we came a long way. Chrislina John, GBN News.